What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Rolling Quartz. Yes, indeed. How about that? Rolling Quartz making their debut on the channel. This comes as a request from PH and Salgat Kodka. They both want to see me react to this song by Rolling Quartz called Blaze. Now, have I heard this song before? No, I've never even heard of this band before. Uh, from what I've been told uh, from the uh, requesters, this is a Korean rock band. So this, I think this is actually our first Korean rock band that we've had. We've had J-Rock, <laughs> but this is our first Korean rock band, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard the song before. It does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, <laughs> there's always a possibility that I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So it's always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, oh my God, really? Ah, I recognize this song now. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Rolling Quartz Official. Okay, and the video has 336,389 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, MV music video Blaze all in Korean uh, by Rolling Quartz official debut single K Rock girl band girl band so this is an all girl band cool all right hey got love bites we got band made we got well I, I don't really call baby metal an all girl band and I, I wouldn't say that uh, there's been a couple of all girl bands that I've done as well so this ought to be interesting all right let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this! about this i mean i like the attitude i like the approach i'm not god there's, there's a few things that are kind of irking me a little bit but it's not bad it's not terrible i just don't know if i like it uh and i have some questions is as far as the songwriting process goes, I have some questions. 
because there are some questionable things happening. Things that I would not have done. And I wonder why they did it the way they did it. But in any case, uh, let's keep going for right now. Guitar solo, possibly. Okay, let me back it up. <laughs> um, couple of things I'm not thrilled about. Couple of things I am thrilled about. Um, it's kind of balancing each other out a little bit. I like in that second verse, they had that, that you know, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. They had those three those those three note accents. That was really nice, really nice. Um. Uh, Again, anything you could do to keep the song moving and keep the song fresh, always a good thing, without being a distraction and without taking away from the song. So they, they did a fine job of that balancing act. Um, the bass is coming through clear as day. I, I'm digging the bass. I'm digging the fact that the bass is getting some solo lines uh, where they just you know, does a little riff, and it's very cool. I, I love the bass tone also. I know that it's got that signature Fender jazz bass, uh, that, that percussive uh, tone that the Fender basses have, man. I, I dig Fender basses. I don't play them. Um, they don't make a six-string, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, hey, they, 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 are, they are fantastic basses nonetheless. Absolutely fantastic basses. Heavy. They are, oh, man, those things weigh a ton. Uh, especially the old Fender jazzes. Uh, I, I, I've, I've, I've held a couple of those old Fender jazz basses from like the seventies and eighties. And oh my God, they weigh like 30 pounds. They're just like, Oh God, Ugh! you know, it's just ridiculous how heavy those things are. I'll get arthritis in my shoulder. If I wear that thing on my, I wear a strap. Um, Vocally, it's pretty good. It, I, I'm digging what's happening vocally with the harmonies being put in sporadically, especially in the in the chorus. Um, it, it right now it's kind of a balancing act. I mean, like I said, there are the things I'm not wild about, and there are the things that I, I'm appreciating. And they're right now they're kind of balancing each other out, which is which is good. Uh, I hope there's more good than not so good, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I think we have a guitar solo. I'm not sure about that, but I believe we do. I think I started to hear a note of a guitar solo, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So 
That's ah uh, man. Din, 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 din. Without going back to one, it just resolves in the and of four. Ah. Anyway, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And those those endings just kind of drive me nuts. Not in a bad way. Just in, in a in a just like oh god, really <laughs> kind of way. The kind that makes you laugh a little bit. Um. Okay. There was some good. There was some really good. There was some not so good. Uh, let me, let me think about it. Let me really, really think about it. And uh, I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Rolling Quartz with a song called Blaze. All-girl all uh, Korean rock band. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Our first, our first Korean band, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this was a request from PH and Salgat Kodka. All right. I thought about it. And I have a score. And I, I do believe the score is appropriate. I do believe the score makes sense. So here we go. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 7.9. Yep. 7.9. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? First of all, I know there's probably a few people coming to the channel for this reaction, you know, who are Rolling Quartz fans and they've never been on the channel before, so they don't know what a 7.9 is. So let me break it down for you. Break it down! A 7.9 is not a bad score. It's not even an okay score or even a pretty good score. It's not even a good score. Believe it or not, a 7.9 is a really good score. Um, a 7.9 is the highest really good score you can get. Uh, if you're not sure about that, you can take a look down below in this video. You'll find the, the video description. You have to click the see more button, obviously, but you go down to the video description and you will very clearly see my scoring system chart. And you will see that 7.0, which is right about here, 7.9 which is right about here is the grading scale for really good and this is a 7.9 it doesn't get any higher than that for the really goods until you get up into the greats now here's the thing would i call the song great i i'm not gonna lie man i was tempted i i was floating i was floating between like a 7.8 and an 8.0 and i I kept coming back to 7.9, and then I would go to 8.0 and come back to 7.9. Then I would go down to 7.8, and I would always, I would always come back to 7.9. So that's where we're at. Now let me tell you how we got to that 7.9. Uh, I'm gonna start with the good stuff first. Um, the vocals. I think with, I honestly, I believe the vocals are probably the strongest thing going for this band and i'm not just talking about the lead vocalist either i'm talking about everybody involved in the vocal process now i heard some great vocal harmonies now that could very well be just being the the lead vocalist and you know post-production splitting and editing and copying and pasting and pitch adjusting and like that it could very well be that okay it could also be either the bassist or one of the guitar players coming in and doing vocals with them, or maybe two of them coming in and doing vocals, you know, doubling up on the harmonies. It could also be that. I would assume for the purpose of live performances, which I'm sure this band does, that you can't have one person doing all the vocals. So you gotta have, you know, you gotta delegate the harmonies to either the bassist or the guitar player or bassist and guitar players, or maybe it's the two guitar players. I don't know, but for the purpose of live performances, if you want to get those harmonies in a live setting, that's the best way to do it. Or you're going to be, or <laughs> there's another way to do it. And that's put that you can use vocal tracks, you know, backing tracks that, that, that carry the vocal harmonies, which I have mixed feelings about. I, I, I can appreciate it when bands do, but it puts a lot of strength on the lead vocalist because the lead vocalist has got to be spot on. Um, and I got no issue with people using tracks as long as they're honest about it, you know? I, I hate it. I cannot stand it when bands use tracks for to do vocals. Like they'll use vocal tracks, and they'll have backing vocal tracks played, and they'll have somebody on a mic lip syncing them and pretending 
like they're really doing it, even though it's clearly track. That drives me nuts. I hate it when bands do that, and I think it's disrespectful, and, I, I, and it's dishonest. I mean, that that's plain and simple. It's dishonest. Um, I don't know how they do it. I, I don't know how they do it, but all I can say is I heard some really nice vocal harmonies, and the lead vocalist has got really nice tone, great power, and great projection. Uh, the bass in this. I think that was my second big selling point for me. I could hear the bass clear as day through the entire song. Uh, great tone. Great, punchy, high percussive tone. Uh, very typical of getting those from your, your Fender jazz basses, man. Those things are... Woo! <laughs> uh, they have got some amazing sound. You, you can always tell when someone's playing a Fender. You really can. Uh... So great string rattle too. Very, very slight string rattle. Just enough to give it an ever so slight edge to her tone, which was really cool. I dug that. Uh, not too bottom heavy, uh, not too bright, just very punchy. And I, I really can appreciate that. I also love the fact that she got some solo spots. Not, not for like a full blown bass solo, but she got a couple of lines that she like, Three or four spots where she got, you know, little two-measure, you know, riffs, and that was really cool. It was really cool that she got their opportunity to shine like that. The drumming on this was actually rock solid. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a great point, but it was a rock solid point. Uh, no good place about the drumming. It sounded really good. Here's where things kind of went downhill for me a little bit. The guitar. Okay. At the very beginning, when, they, when the song kicked in, they had the one guitar playing the melodic line. Is it just me, or did that guitar line sound very disjointed and disconnected from the song? Like, it didn't sound like it was mixed well. It didn't sound like it blended at all. It stuck out. Now, I understand people have this idea that guitar solos, guitar solos are supposed to stick out. That wasn't a guitar solo. That was a melodic line. That was carrying the main melodic line of the song, the theme of the song. It should be mixed better than than what we heard. Uh, it, it sounded very disconnected from the rest of the song, and that was a little disheartening, if I'm being honest with you. It was a little distracting. Uh, the guitar in general at the beginning, and in, in, through the verses, through the verses, the guitar sounded a little thin. It, it sounded like the guitar could use a little thickening up. Uh, not from a distortion standpoint. The distortion level is fine. I'm talking about the EQ. It sounds like it's very smile curve. Now, for a bass, you want to have a good smile curve. For a guitar, you really don't want to have too much of a smile curve. You want to have mids in guitar. And for me, it sounded like the guitar were missing some of the mids in the verses. Now, here's the funny thing. In the choruses, it filled. Now, I don't know if that's because... In the verses, they had just one guitar player playing, and then in the choruses, they had two. I don't know. That's a possibility. But in any case, the guitar sounded a little thin, a little hollow in the verses. Choruses sounded good. Um, I did like the subdivision breaks in the second verse when they came in the, the ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. That sounded really good. I dug that. It kept things fresh, kept things moving. Um... The songwriting in general as a whole, pretty simplistic, nothing too crazy, nothing too over the top, pretty simple. But like I've always said on this channel, simple can be effective when it's done properly. There were a lot of things the band was doing properly. There were a few things I wasn't totally thrilled about, but I would say most, I would say about three quarters of what they were doing sounded really good. I do see a commercial appeal for this song and for this band as a whole. I can see this band being very marketable. Um, would I call the would I call the band a gimmick band? I wouldn't call them a gimmick band because I don't really see a gimmick. Uh, I I just I don't. Other than the fact that they're an all Korean, all female band, and I would I call that a gimmick? No, I, I would just call that being a band. A gimmick would be like wearing costumes or you know using crazy makeup or you know, setting yourself on fire or something like that. That's a gimmick, okay? But you use those gimmicks to set yourself apart. Now, I've seen bands who use, they have an amazing gimmick and their music is absolute and total garbage. And then on the flip side, I've also seen bands who use a gimmick and their music is outstanding. And 
those bands use the gimmick to make themselves stand apart from all the other bands out there, you know? And that, that's no problem with it. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with bands who use gimmicks for the right reasons to make them stand apart from the rest of the crowd. I don't see this band really having a gimmick per se. Uh, I know that's gonna be a question that people are gonna ask is do I see this as being a gimmick band? No, I don't see this as being a gimmick band unless they decide to develop a gimmick later on, but I don't know if they really need it. I, I think the song is solid. Um, solid songwriting, good overall execution. Couple things I would tweak up with the mix and uh, with the guitar tones in particular. But I mean, it's overall though, I mean, the band was really good and the song was really good. And that's why it's getting the 7.9. So 7.9 final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you want to join the fan base, feel free to click the button over there. If you feel like liking the video, go ahead and like the video. If you want to click the bell, go ahead and click the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference to me, but if you feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.